you know why we we came to talk to you. You know <laughs> what we want to talk about. Um, Trump is all over the news in a way that I find extremely exhausting. But you've you know President Trump, and you've known him in a different in different variations. What do you think that he's feeling right now? Donald is terrified right now. I mean, forget all the bravado that you're hearing from him. This is his worst nightmare. He always likes to be in control. You know, like in the boardroom, when we were taping the show, I did three seasons of The Apprentice with him. He liked control. When I did a couple of projects with him in terms of business and, and his production company, he liked to be in control. This is one situation where two things are happening. One, no control, but two, accountability. It's the first time in his life that he is being held accountable for his actions. So the whole talk about the pomp and circumstance and wanting the cameras there to, to get his every move, you think that that's just a facade, but he's truly actually terrified because of the unknown, I should say. Absolutely. Now, let's just acknowledge that there is a very cinematic flair to everything that Donald does. He has main character syndrome. He thinks everything is about him. So he's never going to miss an opportunity for this big scene, you know, this villain coming off the television. But let's just acknowledge the very somber seriousness of the situation that Donald Trump is facing these very ser serious charges. And shame on Donald for making a mockery of this very serious moment. You know firsthand how relentless he fights when he goes to court. Do you think that he's going to fight these charges all the way with the appeals, even, you know, even if it comes to like, hey, there has to be a gag order or appealing the fact that he can't leave or any, any anything like that? How do you think that he's going to fight these charges all the way? Or maybe even... Rachel, ha have you ever seen an old boxer come out of retirement and crawl back into the ring? You know, mm -hmm. Donald's like that old boxer going into the ring, but this time he's got like a walking stick or, or <laughs> walker, you know. He's not as sharp anymore. He's, he's swinging and he's missing and he's forgetting to duck. That's what we're watching. Do you think we could see a repeat of January 6th or, God forbid, worse? Well, certainly, I don't believe that we'll see the thousands of people that we saw. But remember, it only takes one, you know, lone actor to go and do harm to the judge or do harm to attorney Braggs or to anyone involved in this case. You, you only need just one. And so him showing images, holding a bat as mm -hmm. if he's swinging at attorney Braggs. I mean, who could ever get away with that? What would you say to people who might say you're you're speaking out and it seems very convenient for you to be speaking when you used to be a part of his administration and now you're, you know, talking about Trump in, in this way? What would you say to that? Because I'm sure there's going to be people who speak out in regards to that as well. Every single person in this country has had a Donald in their life a friend that they supported, that they encouraged, and then they watch them do self-destructive things. And um, and then you make the decision, Rachel, that these individuals are dangerous, they're harm to themselves, they're harm to people around them, and you remove yourself from toxic situations. And that's exactly what I did. If for some reason Trump is found, you know, not guilty, or I don't know, it works out a different way, could this be backfire the fact that they decided to go after Donald Trump for, you know, these 30 plus counts. I know a lot about attorney Bragg. Um, and I have a, a, a friend who is a part of a law society who knows a lot of how he operates and he would never move forward with a flimsy case. It is rock solid. I think a, a lot of the talk also surrounding this is that we're hearing from his, which is a wild word to use fans. Truly, his fans, we know his fan base is so, so loyal to him. Um, but the question that people are asking is, do we think that this these charges will help or hurt him politically? No one is above the law. And the fact that he is trying to make you believe that somehow he is going to benefit from 30 felony charges. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying what Donald Trump is trying to sell right now.